Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I just want to catch you guys up on some chores that I've been doing during the week. It's been an absolutely busy week. We actually had some warmer temperatures in the 50s and 60s. I think we almost hit 70 degrees one day this week, which is working wonders on my tulips. So I did end up covering one of the rows of tulips. I believe there are about 1100 tulips and I covered it with plastic. I showed you guys that in a video. They have literally tripled in size in just a few days. I'll show you guys a little bit of a succession. I took this the first day, this the second day, and this the third day. It's been absolutely amazing to watch those grow. And uh, Dave Dowling, cut flower specialist, says you should vent them during the day and then pull the cover back over at night, leaving the plastic on when it's sunny out. It really kind of encourages bacteria to grow and you can have things like tulip fire and boitritis develop. And another thing that's going on inside the deer fence is we're finally tilling the area. It's dried out enough where we're able to get the tractor in there and move around because the next step is putting the beds in there with my bed maker, the Bio360, which is a biodegradable film made out of corn. So another thing that's happening this week is we had a huge truckload of rocks delivered and those rocks are because I bought a shed. So that shed is being used for a special project and we needed to have the level area for the shed to sit. I'm excited to share with you guys the plans for the shed. You guys can go ahead and guess. I think some of you might know what's going to happen in that shed. But anyway, it's very exciting. The shed should be delivered sometime next week. The rock guy is also my compost guy. So we had more compost delivered this week and that is gonna go inside the deer fence when we make the Bio 360 beds. And another thing I did this week, I kicked the Lysianthus out of the grow room. So I am kicking the Lysianthus out of the grow room today and I am bringing it all over to the hoop house to spend a little bit because Brad is currently tilling inside there where these and all of these are going to go. They look amazing. So it spent the last two nights out in the hoop house and it's looking great. We had, actually it was 41 degrees in there this morning and they're looking perfect. They're not minding the cold at all. So they will then transition from inside the hoop house then into the Bio360 as soon as those beds are made, which will hopefully be this week. Some of you guys know that my father is actually an electrician. He is a general electrician. He owns his own business, just has a couple of employees. It's a very small business, but he's been doing electricity for about four decades now. He just happened to be over the other night and we were walking around. I showed him inside the hoop house and then we were talking about putting up hoop house number two and Brad was a little concerned about where the wire is that's running from the power from the road all the way to the house. So my dad goes, oh, well I have that machine right in my truck. Let's get it out and let's mark where the wires are. So that was another project that we did this week. It not only tells you exactly where the wires are within an inch, it also tells you exactly how deep they are. So that was super helpful. 29. So we were able to mark that line all the way to the road. Now Brad's gonna feel more comfortable when he's tilling down in that area. So we know we're not gonna hit the electric that goes to the house. That was a huge concern. This is exactly the trench, Brad. It's exactly the trench. We are actually, I think we were eight feet away where we planned to put hoop house number two. We were about eight feet away from the wires. So we don't have to change any plans there. And finally, I ended up finding an entire crate of daffodils that I didn't get in the ground in the fall. I was able to put them in the ground today. So I just found these daffodils. This one's no good, squish. But look how many are good. And this just was because I ran out of time. Let's see, what are they labeled? So they're Skype. They are Skype. 250 of them. And we'll see how many I can get in the ground, but. A lot of these are good. So I just grabbed my drill and my auger and I had room alongside these daffodils and I'm just plopping them in. Welcome to the Flower Hill Farm Fair. Your first game, try to throw the daffodils into the holes. Do it! 
Oh, no. Yes! Ah, two for two. <laughs> nice. Oh, that, is that the new way <laughs> to do this? <laughs> Your jeans are ruined. I don't care. You don't care. Wow, that's pretty efficient. Could have gotten a rake. No rake? No. Just axles? Wow, that's pretty decent, actually. No! <laughs> so out of this entire crate, those are the only ones that we ended up tossing. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, these ones are just, there's no life in them. Uh, really gross, so not bad. A couple hundred in the ground. I am not driving with you. <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyway, I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on some things that have been going on. Obviously, this isn't everything that's been going on. It's been insane. We're just trying to catch up. I can't believe it's mid-April. I don't know how this happened. I'm about five weeks away from my last frost date, so I'm starting a crazy amount of seeds and obviously getting ready for my seedling sale, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's just so much going on and I have so much more to share with you guys and I'm excited to do so. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Oh, and it was Moon's birthday yesterday. We got her a couple of toys. So here's her being cute. <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell you my most exciting thing. <laughs> okay. So I actually went down in the basement the other day and I was watering. I'm in the basement all the time. But I was watering and I noticed this blue color. If you guys remember from my seed haul video, that sweet pea that I was so excited about, it's blooming in my basement. I started it from seed, I believe it was like March 5th or March 6th, and it's blooming in the basement. I have to get these in the ground and I'm so excited. It's so beautiful, but oddly, there's no scent to it. So I don't know if it's just because it's one of the first ones or what, but no, it does not smell amazing like the sweet peas do. It's called the Azurius, Azurius Blue Sweet Pea from Baker Creek, and I think they're actually sold out at the moment, but man, it was totally worth it. It's absolutely beautiful. You can leave. Mrs. Burns, get out of my daffodils. Uh, Skylar sister, go, fluffy bot. Get, get, get. Go, go, go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>